Every time you guys have like the four for oh, ten, four, four, four ten. for twenty, I like to get games on that deal, I guess. Has like some crazy shoes here. Check this out, some Yeezys. And these seem to be real, I think. What's up everyone, it's Austin and we're back with another episode of my $10 game collection series. I think we're like on episode 43 now, so it's crazy to see just how far we have come, all of the games and items that we have accumulated throughout this whole series. To start off this video, I just wanted to go over some comments or some questions that I've been getting on my videos. Some people have been asking why I pass up on certain items or I just don't pick them up or maybe I miss them. And honestly, a lot of times when I come across items for like a good deal, it's you know a no brainer to grab them. But sometimes items are just not fit for my series or my challenge. Even if there is an item for a really good deal, if I don't have the funds or if I use up all my game funds, then that pretty much ends the video right there. Also, I have to think about items that sell really quick if I'm buying items to flip. Some items will sit longer than others, and I need to make sure I have items that can move really quick so that we can progress with the series. I don't want to just buy items and hold them for months, I guess. Another thing that I get asked is if certain items in my collection are for sale or when I'm going to put them up on eBay. And honestly, whatever I have on eBay is what I am willing to sell. If it's not on eBay, that means these items are a little meaningful to me and it's something that is really cool that I found and would like to keep. So basically just check on my eBay and whatever is there is there. I personally don't want to sell certain items specifically to individuals because I want to keep this challenge as authentic as possible. I kind of grew like a small following on YouTube so I don't want that to influence this series. I want people to watch this series and realize that this is something that they could totally do at home. And one of the last cool things that I've been seeing in my comments is people saying how much different game hunting and thrifting is over here as opposed to where they actually live. So people from out of the country say they don't really have thrift stores or like pawn shops. They instead have like flea markets and antique stores. So just thought that was really interesting that um, on the other side of the world it's completely different but they still tune into my videos and enjoy watching my hunting. Enough of that though, let's talk about my collection. I'm at a point where I'm mainly focused and prioritizing finding these games on my list. This is one of the last things I want to do before I conclude the series. We've got like six games left on our list, so hopefully we can find them soon and for cheap. But other than that, let's go ahead and jump into our collection and get into some updates. Here at our game showcase, and we just made another quick sale. We've been having like really small sales throughout the week, um, which honestly isn't too bad. We haven't really sold anything too big yet. Uh, we sold this right here, this What Do You Meme Stoner Pack. We sold this one for around $16 and we got it for like two bucks at a Goodwill. I'm not exactly sure what happened to the first half of this clip, but we also did end up selling this Austin Powers Blu-ray collection. We ended up selling this one for $14.50 and we purchased it for $2 at a pawn shop. So not a bad one. After eBay fees and shipping, this is how much we'll get to add back to our game fund. Beautiful snowy day here in Wisconsin. We're headed into a GameStop. They currently have their 4 for 10 and 4 for 20 deal going on. So maybe we'll grab some games for cheap. Look at some older generation games as well. Got some PlayStation 4 games. Let's have a look at. Oh, here's one for $9.99. So looking for games under $5. We can get four of those for ten dollars so it's not a bad deal especially for this challenge trying to get games for as cheap as we can wow check this out uh playstation greatest hits one two for 99 cents i see you guys are starting to kind of put them out yeah okay cool specific one you're looking for? Um, well I see you guys have the deal going on, so that's why. <laughs> that one, that's a good game, I already have it. Some of them have first takes on them, so mm -hmm. I 
Well, maybe I'm not gonna find anything worth it. <clears throat> oh, this is a good one. I think I am all set. So I came away with PlayStation 4 games. Here at our game showcase, and we just made two more sales. So the first thing we sold is actually down here. It's the sealed VHS tape. We finally sold this one, had to lower it a bit. We ended up selling it for $25. That seemed to be the sweet spot. And we got it for like a dollar at a thrift store. And then the second item that we sold is also down here. And it's these shoes right here. Surprised to see how quick these sold. I just listed this up like a couple hours ago. And it ended up selling for $40. Had to throw it in the washing machine. That's about it. They're actually in really clean condition. We got these for $7 at a Goodwill, so a bit high, but honestly, definitely worth the price for how fast it sold. So after eBay fees and shipping for these items, this is how much we'll get to add back to our game fund. All right, so I haven't been to this Goodwill in a very long time, probably over a year now, but, um. I was in the area and figured I'd stop by. Did find like a couple games, really a small game selection here, unfortunately. Uh, found this SSX game. This is a pretty popular one on the PlayStation 2. It is complete. Uh, so not sure how much this is worth, but I'll probably grab it. Doesn't have like a tag on it, so it should be like $2.99. And then also this one too. I don't see this one too often. Uh, Gran Turismo Pro Sports, I, I guess. Is that what it's called? Um, it does not have the manual, but just the game. Not sure how much this goes for either, but probably gonna grab this as well. And then other than that, I'm really not seeing anything else, but at least I came away with two games. I'll keep looking though, see what else I can find though. This place also always has like some crazy shoes here. Check this out, some Yeezys. And these seem to be real, I think. $75, so. A uh, bit high for me, but I'm not sure how much they actually go for. Uh, decent condition as well, but wow, it's crazy to find these. I've never seen like a real pair of Yeezys at a Goodwill, so yeah, not a bad find. And then also this, this definitely brought me back to, got the Heelys. These are like youth sizes, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, definitely remember a lot of kids in middle school, I guess, rocking these, rolling through the hallways with these. <laughs> So, don't think these have much value, but uh, really cool to find. Hello. I just gonna grab these. I'm good. How about you? This all for you, sir? Yep. Okay. Uh, you have rewards? Yep, yeah, okay. Here at the next Goodwill, and checking out the game section, already spotted some that I might be interested in. Check this out right here. Cold Stone Creamery, scoop it up. I can't believe they made a Wii game on Cold Stone, the ice cream store. There was just so many crazy games that released on the Wii, check that out. Probably not gonna grab that though. Uh, we got a Toy Story 3. I don't think I have this in the collection. I have one of the Toy Story games on the Wii. So I might grab it, $2.99. I know this has a ton of value like on the 360 and on the PlayStation 3, but not so much on the Wii. I uh, got some PS3 games, Black Ops. Might have to grab this for three bucks. Um, and if I do find like a Black Ops 2, I can bundle that up and throw it up on eBay. And then the last game is Dragon Age 2. Wow, can't believe I found this here. I've been playing Dragon Age Origins um, recently and it's been a pretty fun game. I could see why people do enjoy these games. I think they said this game isn't as good though. I think Origins is like the best one in the series. So, got three games that I may consider grabbing. 
Um, other than that, some sports games. You got Brotherhood. I mean, it's still cool that, that you can still find video games at Goodwill. So I already took a look around and didn't really find much else here, unfortunately. Probably just going to check out with these three items and uh, show the receipt for that. So not a bad stop, honestly. Back at our game showcase, and we just got another quick update. We've been selling, like, single items each day. Today, we ended up selling this uh, Kirby Star Allies. It's a Switch game, but unfortunately, it's just the case. We ended up selling this for 11 bucks. Uh, it really wasn't worth a risk because we got it for a dollar at a thrift store. So, uh, really happy that it did sell for a dollar, though. We've just got another quick sale. Sold a Wii game, brand new and sealed. This one sold for $16 on eBay. Uh, I think we picked it up for $3 at a Goodwill. We just made another quick sale, and it's going to be this right here. This Creep Show 3 DVD. And this one ended up selling for $12.50. And we got this for a dollar at the Goodwill bins. Definitely not a bad one. So after eBay fees and shipping... This is how much we'll get to add back to our game fund. I'm here at the Paymore resale store this week and just going to check out to see any video games or any deals going on. Hopefully we can find something for our collection. Trading in, you guys exactly buy like that. loose discs like this too? Uh, only by bulk. Oh, like okay. if they did have a whole bag like this, we <laughs> might do maybe 15 cents each, 25 cents each. Maybe mm -hmm. it really depends. Now, if they have some, like if they pull one out, like yo, this one costs a little extra, all right, we'll mm -hmm. look it up and we'll see if it really yeah. does have more value. And if it does, then we'll pay them extra, obviously. Okay, Sheesh. this is insane. You could buy this entire bundle for 60 bucks. Okay. Oh, oh man. That entire bunch. Am I allowed to like look at it? Of course, yeah. They're right oh. there for you to look at. <laughs> How do you guys like come up with these prices? Is it just just get rid of them. Do you do like refunds if they don't work or anything? Of course, yeah. Like just bring it back? Yep, yeah, you just bring it back and you can sell okay. it out for a different game unless you join the refund off for games. Mm hmm. Okay. Hmm. Probably this one. I haven't, I've actually never played like Metroid games like that before. Yeah, the ultimate thrift is a really good one. I'm going there right uh, after work today. No bull. The Goodwill, there's like a Goodwill right there. That one, Goodwills are like really hit or miss. Honestly. Yeah, I, I've noticed that. I think I'm not going to a Goodwill again. I'm gonna go. A lot of times, like I'm not looking just for video games. I look for like basically anything that right. has value that I could flip so that I can buy video games yeah. with that money. Oh, yeah. So like I'm buying, it's just educating, learning, learning about shoes is, I was really big into shoes originally. So like, I'm buying like, New Balance shoes are really good. Sometimes I find Jordans at Goodwill. Oh, what? Dope. Mm -hmm. All right, man, then uh, send you an email or a text receipt? Uh, email's fine. Got Thank you. you. You all good to go? All right, guys, so we just came away with four games for $25. We got some great games that are worth a decent amount of money. I picked up two copies of this Dynasty Warriors Gundam. This is actually one of my favorite games that I played on the 360 at the time. And uh, it actually goes for around 35 to 40. So maybe if I flip one, it'll basically recoup like the $25 that I spent on this. And I'm most likely going to keep one. There's also like another Big Planet game in here. So uh, we'll just be keeping that. Then we got two more games. We got The Godfather 2, uh, PlayStation 3. Awesome to be able to pick this up. I think each of these games were probably around like 650 each. 
So this one goes for like around 30 ish dollars, I think. Um, and then the last game was Metroid Prime Corruption. I've really never played these Metroid games, but definitely wanted to grab one for the Wii. Uh, this one goes for around like $20 as well. So definitely worth the pickup. Awesome stop. Uh, one of my more favorite stores to go to to find games now. I have to come here more often, I guess. But yeah, that's all we got for now. Cool pickups. Making a stop to the Make Sense store. We're at a point in the series and for our list to where I can't really find certain games out in the wild anymore. I kind of have to go to game stores. So uh, we'll check this place out, see what they have. All right, so there are still some PlayStation 1 games that we're missing and uh, it's gonna be Crash Bash, which is one that I thought would be more common, but I haven't really been finding it anywhere. And then also Digimon World 3, which is um, an uncommon game. I rarely find that one out in the open, but yeah, I'm not really seeing anything as of right now. All right, guys, I'm probably blind, but I did find Crash Bash right there twenty dollars honestly not too bad I, I i really don't know how much it goes for but um i'm definitely willing to pay twenty dollars for a black label one too so uh we'll most likely be grabbing that one And then we're also looking for N64 games, specifically a Pokemon Stadium or a Mario Party. Um, and I'm not really seeing any in this case. Oh, we are also looking for this Super Mario Sunshine, which I might uh, consider depending on our funds. Uh, so it's gonna be like kind of harder to get, but just Crash Bash back there. Yeah. Okay, cool. I also wanted to take a look at the Mario Sunshine. Okay. Um, is there any chance you could do 45 on that? That's usually like what it goes for. Okay, cool. <laughs> then I'll definitely grab that thing. Alright, so 78. Okay. And we're back in the game room now and that pretty much wraps up our game hunting for this week. I'll go over everything that we got. So we first stopped at GameStop because they had their 4 for 10 and 4 for 20 deal going on. I took advantage of the 4 for 20 deal so I was able to get 4 games for $5 pretty much. We got two PlayStation 4 games. The first one was Final Fantasy Dissidia. I didn't know they released this on the PlayStation 4. I remember it being a hit game on the PlayStation Portable. We then got Pac-Man Championship Edition and what is this, Galaga, Pac-Man, and Dig Dug. I actually really enjoy playing Pac-Man and just seeing how far I get. It's one of the more fun like arcade games that I do enjoy playing still. We picked up Sniper Elite V2. I actually never played this game before. Always saw a lot of gameplay and how cool the slow motion with the bullet flying is. And then the last game I picked up was actually just a disc game. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi. Um, I'm actually not sure why I picked this up. I might just flip it. But uh, was a big fan of these Dragon Ball Z fighting games. A lot of good memories, you know, playing with my friends, my cousins. We then went to a couple of Goodwills and got some games. We got Black Ops 1 on the PlayStation 3. Uh, for 3 bucks, definitely worth it. We got Dragon Age 2, $2.99 at a Goodwill. Uh, started playing the first Dragon Age, um, got decently far. It's a bit clunky, but really enjoy like the story of the first one. Not sure how this one continues off of that one though. And then we got Toy Story 3 on the Wii. Doesn't really have as much value on the Wii, but I think I have like Toy Story 1 or 2 already on the Wii, so I don't know, maybe just uh, completing that collection as well. We picked up Gran Turismo Pro Series. I think that's what it is. Uh, I don't really don't have a lot of Wii games in my collection. I just never really played these, but uh, just found this for cheap and decided to pick it up. And then the last game was SSX. I heard a lot of good things about these games. I know SSX Tricky is worth like 15, 20 ish dollars. Not sure how much this one goes for though. And then we had two more trips to end off the series. We went to the Pay More store. Actually, one of my favorite stores now. The owner is such a cool guy. I always chatted up with him and 
he you know was really inspired by my videos to do his collecting as well they had a ton of great games in there four games for $25 so um, if you can find some high value games definitely worth it and I actually did I got two copies of Dynasty Warriors Gundam why did I grab these well these are selling for like 35 to 40 dollars on eBay and what I'm gonna do is probably sell one of them and then keep one of them because I actually owned this on the 360 and it was like one of the first 360 games I owned and I played the heck out of it. Also, one did come with a loose copy of Little Big Planet Game of the Year Edition. Uh, the thing is super scratched up. I don't even think it's gonna work. We also picked up Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. Never played a Metroid game before, but definitely a staple on the Nintendo consoles. So had to pick it up. I think it's worth like 15 to 20 bucks. And then the last game I found was The Godfather 2. For some reason, I often do find this game at thrift stores and pawn shops. Uh, this thing goes for like 25-ish dollars too. And then for our last stop, we went to the Make Sense store just to look for games to cross off of our list. And really happy with our finds. We got two games on our list. The first one is Crash Bash, a black label edition for 20 bucks. Not bad. Uh, this one was pretty hard to find too for some reason. I just couldn't find it anywhere. A fun four player mini game type of game. And then the last game we got was Super Mario Sunshine. I just beat this one I think a year ago. I had the Mario All-Star game on the Switch with all three of the Mario 3D platformer games. This one is a pretty common game I see around but I've never actually owned a full complete copy of the game with the manual. They actually took off $5 from the $50 price point. Uh, which is pretty good. I think it does sell for like 40 or 50 anyways. So uh, really happy with that. And that pretty much wraps up my episode. Another fun week of game hunting. Glad I was able to cross some games off of my list. We also sold a ton of stuff to single items. Uh, we're going to have to put some more items on eBay. I think our item count is getting low now. So we need to continually keep making these sales so we can build up our game fund and get more games on our list. This leaves us off with like four games on our list. And these are kind of the heavy hitter games now. Games that are over like $30, $40 in value. So I'll have to be saving up for that. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it to stay up to date with new content and just to support what I'm doing with this series. You know, I put a lot of time and work into this uh, going hunting and I'm having a lot of fun and that kind of motivates me to keep doing this. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.